We do begin this evening with this image just behind me here. This is an interstate from Colorado tonight. We can make faintly out that plow moving through the screen there just outside Denver. As someone said to me today on the way into work, where is spring? More than half the country getting hit with this newest nasty storm. Hundreds of miles of roads already shut down from Colorado to Kansas tonight. And look at this. Dozens of cars in a pileup outside of Denver, a semi tanker up in flames, all because of the weather. Snow and ice is returning to windshields across America tonight with winter storm warnings and watches up across more than a dozen states now. And in the south this evening, fears of tornadoes because of all this. ABC meteorologist Ginger Z leads us off with that fiery crash in Colorado tonight. It's the winter that just won't release us from its icy grip. On this stretch of highway outside Denver today, a 50 car pileup, semi trucks off the road going up in flames. Highway after highway shut down, stranding dozens of drivers. From our ABC station, KMGH, Molly Hendrickson, right there. We're here along I-70 eastbound where you can see crews are stopping people, telling them they need to turn around. Beyond this point, nearly 400 miles of interstate have been closed since early this morning. That's all the way to the Kansas state line. Blowing snow and crosswinds creating conditions that are impassable. And air travelers didn't have it much better. More than 100 flights canceled out of Denver's airport. The field in last night's World Cup qualifying match looked more like a hockey rink. The U.S. team did pull off a win, but only after they had to use a yellow ball so they could see it in that sea of white. It was difficult out here to see anything, but uh, credit to them, we got the game done. From Colorado to Massachusetts, people are sick of it. In Michigan, they took out their frustration by making a bonfire out of a snowman. It went a lot faster than I thought it was going to go, but I wish all the rest of the snow would go with it. <laughs> wow, pretty dark there, but a lot of people are asking the same question. That's when does true. spring get here tonight, though? This major storm, where is it? When does it hit? Yeah, spring not soon for a whole lot of folks. Let's get right to the timing of this storm. The low pressure system that's creating all this havoc moves through Kansas tonight. It's Kansas City through early Sunday, St. Louis. Then you look for central Illinois and Indiana to get into that big snow and East Coast asking, come on, it can't be coming here. Well, a rain snow mix will be very sloppy at the beginning of the work week. Even though we're deep into March, what kind of snow are we talking about? We're talking about significant snow. In Denver, it snows in March. That's normal, but that all fell already. Now, Kansas City does not get this and we'll see historic snow likely from St. Louis to Indianapolis. That area in the 8 to 12 inch range, that also going to happen in the mountains of West Virginia. And about those tornadoes I mentioned at the top there, a real fear tonight? Right. Tonight we have severe weather threat that goes from the Gulf Coast there, New Orleans, Tallahassee included. We're talking isolated tornadoes, more of a damaging wind situation, and a whole lot of rain. We could see flooding as we end of this weekend. All right. I know you're tracking it all right through GMA first thing in the morning. Ginger, thank you.